ever saying in Jamaica, Sukum. So when you tell a man say Sukum, that can mean hours, that can mean days. He's like, yo brother, I'll be there eventually. To me, I see Jamaican surf culture as an infant, you know, in the world of surfing. You know, every other culture is, you know, history. Like 50 years of surf history, maybe more in anywhere that has a boom in surf culture. And in Jamaica, we've just been doing it for maybe 15 years now, like seriously and actually doing contests and that kind of thing. And we realize that we're young and we just need guidance, you know. And each person has a hand in helping guide it to where it needs to go. So, you know, learn from experiences and make it great. And Jamaican surf culture could be something long lasting. Jamaican culture is very like organic and it's almost sheltered from the world. So we came up with a lot of things on our own, you know, like music styles, art styles, just the way how we dress even, you know. So it's like the Jamaican surf culture and the Jamaican scene is similar in the way that it's almost not touched by the world too much, you know. It's still in its rawest, most pure form, you know, just like when you come into Jamaica, I think that's what people like the most, like you see people live in real life you know like when i travel and go to other places in the world it's like they're just fitting into the system that they're in but like in jamaica if you don't have a talent or a hustle or like something that you can do for real you know like with your hands or like a skill level or a skill set then life will be hard for you, you know Jamaica is a third world country and you know we don't have much in the ways of material and money but your respect and your reputation that carries you so far in Jamaica man like that is more valuable than money. It's very easy going culture that just flows in itself and I grew up here and I love it I won't lie to you it's raw it's pure it's beautiful. <laughs>